Minister as well in part is he is constrained by European law. And we mustn't take our eyes off the fact that there's lots of things going on and lots of lobbying going on at a European level by the very people that Tom was talking about. And I want to bring your attention to another thing that's floating around, which is called ACTA. It's the anti counterfeiting trade agreement. <laughs> and again, if that is passed and signed, again, Minister here is constrained by what is being dictated by the EU. So we have got to lobby as best we can as, as citizens, uh, if you feel that factor is not right, to get in there and go and write to your MEPs, because they're the people who can decide on this now. The, it has been provisionally signed by the European Union on our behalf, but it has to be ratified by, by the uh, European Parliament. And that means MEPs must be convinced that the kind of things which are enacted, which are the sorts of things that we're talking about here, are not appropriate as we see it. So again, it's as Tom said, if the citizens don't say anything, nobody will be heard. Minister Russell? Yeah. I, I, I may be mistaken, uh, John, but I think this is pretty unique in, in that there is a process here where you, you have a minister engaging. I, I can understand your scepticism, Tom, about that process. And, and, you know, whether or not it will be listened to. But, but Paul is right, and we have to live in a real world as well. And what I mean by that is that Ireland may... Well, Ireland... Give me a break here. One second. So Ireland may, may, Ireland may decide that it wants to move in a very liberal way in terms of how we legislate for this space. Uh, but you're going to have powerful interests powerful corporate interests, and that's the way the European Union works, who will seek to try and, uh, you know, get into the corridors of power and try to, to, to shape that. So that's the challenge that we have. But, look, if you look at it logically, I mean, we're at an interface between the US and, and, and the East. You know, the more open our economy is, uh, the, you know, the stronger the messages that we send out uh, in relation to our, our legislative regime you know, the more favourable that's going to be in terms you of... You did sign right. ACTA in Japan, didn't you? Yeah. No, I didn't sign ACTA in Japan. You signed the uh, ACTA? Pardon me? What did you do with ACTA in Japan? No, the, the government was part of ACTA. No, I didn't do anything myself, Tom. Yeah. Just, so, so the government uh, signed up to ACTA, but ACTA cannot exist if it is contrary to what they call the key communitaire. So all of the rules, the procedures... The legislative uh, text that we have uh, cannot be superseded by You active. were in Japan, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> you were not in Japan. No. My apologies. I was in Japan <laughs> once on my way to Australia, but that was it. I didn't sign but unfortunately, you agreed that it signed us up to the, uh, committed to, to the act of. No, the, the government has signed up to act it. There's no mistake about that. I mean, you know, you're not going to be ambiguous about that. that. So you're in, the, you're in the government though, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, well, well Tom asked Sorry, me, I, I Tom asked thought you, I went to Japan, I said, no, I didn't. Who did sign? Who, who asked sign? Who I, I, truthfully, I, I do not know. So it's not the government. Not the government. Not the government. No, it's not, it's, I'm, not, I'm not trying to fudge the question. I, I can get back to this and we can yeah, bring it back in. We find out exactly who signed after. Yeah, no I, say, I think that what we're seeing is the same pattern repeated. We have a, a pattern here, and what we have is a failure of government. Because it, it should not be government's job to sit and wait for people to decide for them what the policy should be. The government should be the people who look after the public interest, while the commercial interests might pull here and there, make lobby and so on, but the government is meant to occupy the broad centre on behalf of the citizenry. Instead, the government has abandoned the middle. They have abandoned the fight and they're just waiting to see what turns out from various different lobby groups and organisations pulling <coughs> hither and hither. Now, we see that in, uh, in, the, in the SI, uh, where the government was given an opportunity to make a stand, a very minor stand, one which allowed it to continue to make all the moves that it wanted to move uh, in relation to taking secondary legislation. Uh, there was a draft of a, an alternative SI, which the Minister says uh, was shown to the Attorney General's office, but not the Attorney General. Uh, uh, but, uh, but nonetheless, that OSI uh, preserved everything that the, the government wanted to do and simply made explicit, simply made explicit the fundamental rights that the ECJ has said are available. And uh, the, when the Minister was bringing it in, he cited how important those fundamental rights were. 
but he passed up the opportunity to write them to law. The result is that Tom doesn't have the level of certainty that he would otherwise have. We don't have the level of certainty for attracting business we otherwise would have. And the courts have a headache, which they don't welcome, of interpreting legislation in the absence of uh, guidance from the laws themselves. Now, that's not a great position for the government to be in. But if it abandoned the position of leadership it ought to take, that's what we will see again and again. I hope that people do uh, make uh, submissions <coughs> to the CRC. But remember where those go. Hey guys, uh, put up the white cell people last week. Thank you very much. It's a wonderful, I'm not being facetious, but that's a wonderful oratorical flourish there by, by Simon. Um, look, my job here today uh, is to get stuck in, effectively. There have been very clear messages coming across. It's clear that people are well pissed off with us as a government, okay? Uh, and I, I acknowledge that. Um, but what I'm trying to do here is to try to put some sort of a structure around the engagement. I take the points that Simon is making, okay? You know, and I spoke about the broad middle uh, at the start, do we legislate for the middle ground, that interface between the copyright holders and, and those people who are, who are citizens? And we need to strike some sort of a balance. And we have to grapple with the problem that the ISPs and the intermediaries find themselves in at present, where they're left, if you will, on the hook. How we do that is a major challenge, okay? And how we do that that keeps us in line with EU legislation, given the way the current uh, you know, legislation is framed around the e-commerce directive is going to be a challenge. But like, don't think that we're not conscious of, of it. Don't think for a second uh, that, you know, we're just going to say, you know, sign the SI and away we go, stick the head back in the sand and, you know, that's it. We have a consultation paper, you know, that is the paper. Well, we'll put the side, the, the, the side back up again. Yeah, I, can, I can stick it up here. Like, the one where it says that it's got nothing to do with the SI. No, 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 but you see, but this is a point of conversation I, 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 as well. I will, I'll put it back up. <laughs> 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 Tom, with respect, isn't maybe a good outcome if you're all people said you won't be constantly looking into the past and let's look forward? It's now on record, on video, and in the public domain that Minister Sherlock has said, yes, if the resounding reaction coming back from the citizenry and the copyright holders is change it, he will change it. He I, has I said, said yes. I said I sat this morning. Okay, I sat this morning with, no, the, with, with the minister. With, due, due, with respect as well, because I, I think what everyone here, just reading and, and chatting to, to peers and stuff, what everyone wants is that the debate today isn't the same as the debate last month and the month before and the month before. Good we may have something to cling on to, and I think saying it, you won't be listened to might disenfranchise some citizens from having their say. No, I'm saying it's going to be difficult for you to be listened to. And you're going to no, have to well, And well, I think well. with respect, the, the minister has said, yes, I will listen. Minister, we vote you in. We will hold you to that answer. And I would encourage everyone not to be you know, put off responding because they think they won't be listened to. I think that's also happening. I think we're going to all have to shout very, very loud. I agree. But, but I think it, perhaps I'm being pessimistic due to the, the, the last two years of, of shouting very loudly about much more important issues in the sense of, of our financial situation. Um, however, I, I, I'll say, I wanted to say yeah, two things before Tom, I'm going to pull you up on that one because this thing landed on my desk. It's been going on since October 2010, November 2010. Okay. So, wait, wait, so, so, you know, we're, we, we, we've instigated a copyright review in, the, in, you know, in, in less than the one year that we've been in government, or in slightly over the one year that we've been in government. Uh, your own website. There was a much more important point being made here, which is that if we have the same conversation next month we're having, this month we're having last month, believe me, nobody, nobody in this room more than me wants to sort this problem out because I'm the one that's going to get shot. I'm the one that's going to be nailed in court for it. Right. So I do want to solve this problem. This morning I sat with the minister and I outlined a way that we could solve this problem, that there is a, a, a solution to this. Nobody wants to hear it. But I've been the one saying, hey, we've got copyright holders over here, we've got copy infringers here, fine. 
well, let's just make the channel between how they get to them and punish them for their misdeeds a lot more straightforward. Now, yes. the people here don't want that to happen because there's people who are nicking films and, and, and music and oh, we don't want to really give that up. And there's people over here who don't want to do that because there's a lot of those people. And they don't want to chase them all down. It's much easier to shoot me. I'm one guy. I, and that will show a, a bunch of people. So get Kim.com. Shoot him in the head. Hey, you, you took care of a whole load of copyright uh, infringers. But if we continue that way, along with all the copyright features goes all the people who have freedom of speech, all the people who want to use copyright and copy material in interesting, fair use, fair dealing ways, etc. All the conduits of uh, publication go too, because they'd just be too scared of getting shot in the head. I've said it before, uh, in China, if you stand on a soapbox and, and criticize the government, they shoot you. Fair enough. Okay, grand. Right. In Ireland, they shoot the guy who made the soapbox. Right. <laughs> Pretty soon, nobody makes soapboxes in this country, or if they do, they make damn sure they don't leave their site. But that's the chilling effect. Tom, you've been in business for, what, 12, 15 years? On the board 22 years, but 12 years. On the board of Okay, you're still going. You're you're like five. You've got... Ask <laughs> 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 MCD. <laughs> The copyright legislation. You know, no, I don't. Go on. We haven't been sued yet. You haven't been sued yet. You know why? And, and, but listen to the point that I'm trying to make. Because, so, so what you have said to me this morning was that there has been an exponential increase in, in the growth of your business. Right? It's becoming increasingly more precarious. You've got to put a war chest together to defend against, you know, a potential onslaught. And so now the legislation, arguably, um, it is outmoded. In, in that sense, it, it enables it, 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 it's an enabling feature of it, okay? Right. But the challenge then is, for us, is how we meet your rights as an intermediary, and we meet the rights of the copyright holders as well. So you have to have the rest regard to that as well. And the rest of us. Well, and, and, and the rest of us. But, but that's inherent. Citizens it's not are inherent. <coughs> citizens are if protected. If we're not there, we're not there. We're listening to a no sign, then, you know what I mean? So this is part of the boss. You're a boss, you're But I, I don't need to be told that. No, no, I, I, I don't ignore the people who represent me. I mean, I put my name. But I, I put my name on a ballot paper and I subscribe to a legislative or an elective democratic process, and the people will judge me on that. 